<sighs> Drama. Let's talk about it. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are brand new, the purpose of this channel is I'm here to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. If that's something that vibes with you, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Hit bell notifications so you know exactly when I upload a video. And if at the end of this video you like this video, well, hit that like button as that does help out the algorithms so this video can get viewed more. But with no further ado, let's talk about it. Let's talk about drama in the church. Now, I've got notes here prepared, and I was very much prepared uh, to go through the definition of drama and bring up other verses in the Bible of other drama that happened in the Bible, but something just doesn't feel right. And I don't know about you all, but I am so tired of drama being in the church and before I go any farther into this video this video is not against anyone in my church it's not again against anyone in anyone else's church this is just strictly my opinion on how I view drama inside the church I mean I don't like drama outside of church much less inside the church and so don't think this is against anyone this is just something that's really been aching my soul because I see what drama does. It, it just causes division. It causes heartache. It causes us to be selfish and to pick sides. And, and, and I, I don't like it. Like, I've always been someone who has tried to pursue living not only a godly lifestyle, though I fail, but more importantly, live a life of positivity <clears throat> where there isn't any negativity where there isn't drama which there there can never be a positive drama right the definition of drama is a play or performance and that's literally what it is it's, it's an act you're acting out of character and that's what TV shows are for that's what movies are for but the church that is not what the church is for and if I know something being in the apostolic faith now for eight years, if you're there long enough, drama will come. Point blank. It'll come between the mature believers and it'll come with new believers, but eventually it will come. And it's sad that it comes because drama can only be created one of four ways, lies, selfish motives, division, Sin is the way drama is created. And it aches my soul for this main reason. Who are we to come into God's house, right? Our Savior, our Creator, and think we have the right to cause division among ourselves. Let me put it to you like this. Paul talks about this in the book of Corinthians. I'll notate it below because I don't have the notes here in front of me. But he talks about each member of the body and they serve a specific purpose. The hand can't do what the foot can do. The foot can't do what the hand does. The mind can't function as the heart and the heart cannot function as the mind. Every part in speaking in our natural bodies has a function. And if everyone just does their part, the body works. The problem is when the hand thinks it can do what the foot can does and steps out of order, out of selfish ambitions, the foot trips and falls apart, right? Or the hand doesn't do what it's supposed to do and vice versa. If the heart all of a sudden says, you know what, I'm going to think for the brain, it fell, falls apart. Or if all of a sudden the brain says, you know what, I'm going to pump blood for the heart. It falls apart. And that's exactly what what, what we do when, when, when we initiate, when we entertain drama inside the church. And, and the reason why it, it aches me is because it becomes a distraction. 
It becomes a distraction to mature believers who are just simply just trying to make it to tomorrow. It becomes an excuse or, 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 or I don't know, whatever reason you want to call it, but new believers from growing. And it also becomes a reason why new believers don't want to be a part of the church because that's the first thing that they hear is drama. And so how selfish are we as believers to think it's all about us? That it's my show, that I'm coming for my glory, that I'm coming for my time. You're wrong because we are nothing without God. How can we ever forget where we came from? If you're watching this video, remember where you were at the lowest point in your life when God rescued you. Think on that. And then God pulled you out of it and he changed you and he shaped you. And then you think it is your right. Who are you? Think about that. Who are you and who gave you that right? I can tell you this, God did not give you that right. God does not want division in the church. And it is my personal vendetta, it's my personal mission this, this year to not be a part of any drama. My mission this year is I'm going to get closer to God. And I cannot be distracted by what's happening around me. Look what happened to Peter when he walked out of the boat and he was on, he was on, he was walking on the waters. He was walking over his problems. He was walking over the situation, the noise, the wind, the waves, everything, because he had his focus on one thing. He had his focus completely on Jesus. But what happened when he took his focus off just for a split second? That's when he started drowning. What happens in an accident, in a car? You took your focus off for a split second. And I feel like with drama, it creates this distraction spiritually that if we just take our focus off Jesus for a split second, what do you think is going to happen? Accidents, spiritual warfares, and it's just not right. We are nothing without God. And I am just urging whoever is watching this video in the name of Jesus, if if you like to cause drama, stop. Stop. It is not worth it. If you like to entertain drama, stop. Because you are going to have to answer at the seat of judgment before God. And he's going to ask you, why did you do this? You caused so much hurt because of the drama. You tried to destroy my church and it hurt me. It hurt me. And I just want to see a church that thrives again. I just want to be more focused on God than I have ever been. And I'm telling you right now, drama cannot have a part. We cannot play a part in our lives. I've noticed one thing after being in the church for so many years. When it comes to drama, it's amazing. When you entertain it, how it grows. But when you ignore it and you just pray and you just let God be God, it's amazing how that drama disappears. And I don't know if this is vibing with anybody. I literally just came in my room, just pressed the record button because I just had to get this off my chest. Don't be selfish. The closer that you get to God, the more you realize it's not about you. It's about everyone else around you. And if it's all about you, guess what? You hurt everyone around you. But the more that you take your attention off yourself and you give the attention to Jesus, he will rightly reflect what needs to be coming out of you. It's amazing how you'll light everyone around you. It's amazing the positivity. It's amazing the spiritual outbreaks that will happen when we just focus less on us and more on him. The Bible says, I, I pray that I may decrease so that he may increase. And I hope that is everyone's desire. This is nothing to do with being apostolic. This is nothing to do with the Christian faith. Because I tell you right now, if you go to the clubs, 
you go to the bars, if you go to workplaces, you'll find drama there, right? So the church is not exempt to this. It, it will happen. Even after I make this video, even after I plead for people that don't do drama, I know drama is going to happen. But I'm just talking about the ones who are just tired of it, who are done with it, you don't want to put up with it anymore. It is time to just, I, I make this as an encouragement to you. To just, hey, you know what? If it's there, don't see it, don't hear it, because I'm focusing on Jesus Christ. He's going to take care of it for me. Don't try to fight these battles. Realize that if a brother and sister is going through something, if, if they're causing these dramas, just pray for them. Because at the end of the day, you can't change them. And if you fix the drama around them, they'll make more drama. It's how they're wired. I don't know why. But just pray for them and ask God to change their heart. And it's amazing if we will just do that, God will take care of the rest. God will take care of the rest. And it's amazing. So, uh, anyways, it's a video. I had to get this off my chest. So, yeah, I'm, I'm here to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. My name is Brother Mario. Be blessed, less stress, peace.